Hi, I'm Dave, and this is Work in VR. So right now, my wife Erica and I are in between a move from Colorado to Wisconsin. We're in between houses, and so we're staying in a tiny little one-bedroom apartment. Now, I work from home, and so I still had to find a good place for myself to work. And so I was looking around this little apartment, and I noticed this window has kind of a deep uh, windowsill here. And so I thought, great. My office has a window, uh, but it's probably more accurate to say my window is my office, but it's great. With Immersed in VR, you don't need a lot of stuff. I have my keyboard and trackball. I've got my laptop, my VR headset, and this chair, and it's all tucked away in this little corner. And with VR and Immersed, I can have phenomenal cosmic screens in an itty bitty working space. Uh, sorry, I couldn't resist. But anyway, in a previous video, I talked about these little arm things that I have attached to my chair. They flip out, and I've got this homemade keyboard track. It's just a piece of wood. Pops right on there. But I've got my Bluetooth keyboard and trackball. And so with this, I can have screens all around me in VR. I don't have to crank my neck to the left or to the right. It's really easy to just swivel in my chair and see all my screens. And here in the real world, I don't need a lot of room. I can just, this the little space works fine. We sort of affectionately call this the boot chair. Copyright Jeff Weiser, he came up with that one. But let's take a look. And the other thing is this is just a small little keyboard riser. So I can sit in the chair, but I can also stand using this keyboard riser. It's very easy to raise up. And the only thing I need to raise is this keyboard tray. I don't have to raise a whole desk. I don't have to have big curved monitors in real life that have to go up and down. It's easy to just slide that up, stand up out of my chair, I'm ready to go. So let's take a look and see what all this looks like inside of VR. Okay, so here we are in VR. I'm in the cavern environment. And you can see I have a circular pass-through window where I can look down and I can see my hands, I can see my keyboard and my trackball, and it's circular, so when I swivel, I can face this screen and still see my keyboard, or I can swivel around and still face this screen and see my keyboard. So it's a really nice setup. I still get the ambiance of being in this environment, but I can really quickly and easily find the special keys by glancing down at the keyboard. Now, you can't really tell from this video, but this screen in front of me feels like it's about 50 feet away, maybe even 75 feet away, and it looks like, to me, it looks like it's the size of a movie theater screen. Just huge. And these are massive on the sides. So that's one of the things that's really nice. In the real world, I'm in this little corner. But here in VR, I feel like I'm in this massive cavern, and it's fantastic. Now, let's say I've been sitting for a while, and I want to stand up. Um, I don't even need to raise my headset up off of my eyes to look. I can just look through the little, we call it the nose hole. There's a little tiny area right in here. I can glance down, see where to put my keyboard tray, flip up my arms on the chair, stand up. And now you can see that I'm in a standing configuration. It was super easy and I am ready to work. Now my pass-through is now oriented down there. Super easy fix. All I have to do is that. And there we go. Now I can look down, I can see my keyboard. You can see I'm in the standing configuration here. And I'm standing, but when I look up, I have my giant screens. It is super, super nice. So there you have it. Super easy to get a really nice, incredible, otherworldly working environment tucked into a tiny little corner of the real world. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I pray that God blesses you with an awesome day.